Hey there, Brilliance. I wanted to just get started and say Happy New Year. This is our first live of the year, and we're going to get started off with a kind of serious topic. The end of last year, you probably heard that net neutrality had been repealed. So we're going to talk about what that means and also what is it? Why does it matter? It's a, lot of it's a lot of talk, but a lot of big companies are being mentioned, and it's very easy to fall into the assumption that it's about them and doesn't affect me. But unfortunately, it has potential to drastically affect you and your business. So before we dive into net neutrality, I want to make sure that we all understand that when you go to google.com, that you are not searching the entire internet. A lot of people actually believe that. Instead, you are searching only the websites and web pages that Google has indexed. There's a big difference between the two. Google has not actually indexed every website on the internet. And they also do not index every web page on your website. If you have a really large website, they may only actually be indexing a portion of your site and not referencing the other, the other pages. So keep that in mind as we move forward because that is key to understanding net neutrality and how it can affect you. So the next part is, well, what is net neutrality? Net neutrality was a rule that was put in place that prevents ISPs or internet service providers uh, from discriminating, blocking, or preventing or discriminating in any way, shape, or form between content on their site and across the entire internet. So this means that your internet service provider can't play favorites. They can't say we take this political stance so all of our subscribers are only going to have access to articles and information that go down that path. So basically, and to use an analogy, when you go to your local library, think of your local library as net neutrality. Whether you make $15,000 a year, or if you make $15 million a year, you walk into your library, you have access to the exact same resources. Exact same. You also have access to the same type of help. It has potential to level the playing field, giving everybody, regardless of our, their economic status, equal opportunity, or so they say. You and I both know that there are many variations of this and there's ways to get more information and bribes and all that other fun stuff. Charging premium services, blah, 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 blah. But just for the sake of an analogy, think of net neutrality as a library in its best form. With the repeal of the, with the net neutrality, that's a little different. So in December of last year, the Federal Trade Commission or the FTC voted to repeal this. I believe it was uh, two to one. And it puts businesses like yours at risk because now certain companies like, let me get these, this correct, Google, AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, Amazon, and Facebook have the most to benefit. They're the biggest players in the game. So they basically get to buy up all of the access, and then as you use their services, they can now filter what you see or don't see. So this particularly affects internet prices. So the amount that you pay your internet service provider is most likely going to go up. It, it's also most likely that they can now choose where they see you fitting and put you in a different pricing category based on your usage and how you use the internet. Before, they were not able to do that. They were only able to really control speed. 
another area is the sorting of content. Content that they deem important magically is gonna become more visible and easier to find. Same thing with products. So if a company stands behind, let's say a political stance or a particular product, or is paid enough to have that product become more visible, then that is going to rise to the top and you're gonna have a very easy time finding information about that product or that service or that political stance or that opinion. And then the third one is you're gonna have less access to local news. A big trend moving that has been going on the last five years or so is the internet is big, it's huge. But do we really want results from 3,000 miles away? Is that really relevant to us? Or would we rather have information that's based on our, lo our location? So finding local news is gonna become harder because of the whole uh, premium access of the internet service providers and these large companies deciding what they think is most important, whether it be based on ethics, whether it be based on finances, that's now up for them to decide. So those are some of the big ways that net neutrality is a big deal and why there was so much talk about it and why there needs to continue to be more and more talk about this. So from a big picture, if we were to take the eagle eye perspective, look down, what we would end up noticing is, particularly with these companies, it has the ability to limit innovation. They no longer have a reason to innovate because the cost of entry into this market is now so high that a new company coming in is not likely. So all they really have to do is fight amongst themselves. You're gonna see some couple, you're gonna see a couple mergers and it'll probably get down to two or three companies. And they'll own everything online. And then it also gives the media more control and also holds them, uh, gives them less accountability. We as an average citizen can challenge the accountability, but how big is your one voice when if one of these big players doesn't like your message, they just magically make you disappear? So those are a few things to keep in mind. And the other key area is each of these platforms now has the ability to create their own rules. So where this is important is Facebook can come out and say, we're going to honor the rules of net neutrality and keep everything neutral. We're going to keep it based on algorithms they already have in place. The more you interact with somebody, the more their posts will appear higher in their field or in their feed. Where Google can take a completely different spin and say it's gonna go based solely on advertising. You don't pay, you don't get found. I'm not saying they will do this. I'm saying these are options and that the companies hold and they have a choice of how they want to control this. That's the part that makes it scary, is not only does it take away that level and equal opportunity or potential for, but it really has the, op it really has the potential to segment the market and make uh, Donald Trump's famous phrase is fake news. It has the potential to over segregate the market and allow fake news to spread even faster yet. It's gonna become a lot harder to regulate and find that balanced information based on the companies that you are going to choose to do business with. You know, there for years it's been, well, what phone do you have? And why do you choose that phone? Is it because it looks cool or is it because of the features or is it because of the apps? Now it might not be about that. 
Now it might be because you align with that company from a political or an ethical standpoint. How's that for a shift in the market? And, and if you choose to go with a company because you align with them politically and ethically, but what about your customers? Where are they? Are you gonna not have access to your customers because the companies you choose to do business with have different views than what your potential customers do? This is all up in the air right now, but this is why there's been so much talk about net neutrality. You know, yes, it's been a pain in the butt to stay on top of what Google's doing with SEO. What's the latest with Facebook's algorithm? I'm right there with you. It's really hard to stay on top of all of that. With the repeal of net neutrality, it becomes even harder yet. Because now it's not algorithm or numeric based. And, and that bias is allowed to now sneak in. So pay attention to what's going on with net neutrality. Decide if you think this is a good thing. It does create more competition amongst the companies and has potential to help them grow. But as a consumer and as a small business, is this really what you want? There are uh, some states that are fighting this and trying to get the, the repeal repealed or offer or get some type of addendum done and maybe you want to stay on top of that and see if you can help support that in some way shape or form either which way do know that net neutrality is going to change not just the internet but it's also going to change the devices that we use and how we use them most likely your netflix pricing is going to go up because netflix uses a lot of bandwidth with they're now going to have to charge for that because they're going to have to pay a premium to get access to more of that so these are all ways that the net neutrality is going to affect you as a business and you as a consumer so it's vitally important that you stay on top of what is going on with the repeal of net neutrality i would love to hear your thoughts and your questions below. If I can't answer them, I will. This is a topic I'm following because it does affect not just me as a business owner, but it affects my clients. And I need to be able to give them the advice that they need to help them grow their business and get maximum visibility. Alrighty, everyone, have a happy new year. Post your comments and questions below, and let's get this conversation started. Alrighty, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, brilliance.